YouTube, what's up? Today I'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do an afro taper. This is what it looked like before, and this was the after, but we just gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna start off by picking the hair out. You wanna make sure it's all the way picked up before you start your cut. After we all picked out, I just go on my battle list, putting in my first guideline, being sure not to go too high. Next, I'm going in with my open lever on my wall magic clips. I'm only going up about a nail's length, like on your finger. Then I'm closing that open lever halfway and going right underneath the line I put in taking that line out. Next, I'm going in with my one guard open and I'm flicking up about a half an inch. And I'm closing my one guard up and I'm going right underneath where I put the line in and taking the line out. I try to cut directly against wherever I see the hair is growing and it just helps me get better transitions into my fade. So if I see it growing towards the front, that's the way I'm gonna bring it to. And next, I'm going in with my two guard open. I'm just shaping it right now, shaping it all up. And after that, I'm gonna close that up and go right underneath there. Not too high, just flicking a little bit. Next, I'm using my 1.5 guard going right underneath where I went with the two guard. And I got it open first, and I'm just using the corner of it, the corner of my blade to get out all the any imperfections that I see and I'm gonna close it up and go right underneath there where I went. This time I'm going in with the lever open, but I'm not using it the same way I used it the first time. I'm angling my clipper a different way, and I'm like almost scraping against the grain, what it, the, directly against which way the, the hair pattern grows. I use this method instead of the 1.5, instead of the half guard, because I feel like it's an easier method and faster. And after that, I just, I'm just freehanding around set myself up for the lineup getting any, knocking down any loose hairs And the last step I do for this side, just run through my guards. I run through my 1.5, then my one, just to like extend the fade a little more. This will take a good haircut to a great haircut. And the same thing that I did on this side, I'm just gonna be just doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna just let you guys watch me work through this side and speed it up a little bit.
You know, I'm just setting myself up for the lineup, knocking the hairs down and wiping with some alcohol. Then I go in with my Tresemme hose spray and blow dry it on. And I'm ready for my lineup. After I'm finished with the edge up, I'm just going in with some color enhancements. The color enhancements that I use is the Temptation Touch-Up Spray. You can find this at most beauty supplies. Now I'm on to the back of the head. I always say the back for last. What I'm doing next is going in with my trimmers and getting that soft line in. And then I'm going in with my lever open just like I did on the side and closing it up and going right underneath in it. Next I'm on to my one guard and got it all the way open and I'm going up about a little over a half an inch. Being sure not to go too high Then I'm closing it up and going right underneath there. Trying to stay with the pattern, going against the pattern that it grows. After that, I'm on my tool guard and I got it opened up and I'm just building the shape again. Building the shape with it and the pattern it grows. After that, I'm closing it up and I'm going right underneath it, not flicking out too hard, too high. My next step is the one and a half guard open. I'm not going much higher than what I went with the two closed, just right around that same area. And then I'm closing it up and I'm going underneath it and you can just start to see the blur come together. All right, guys, here was my before. And then here goes my after. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you learned anything, leave a thumbs up and a comment and share this video with a friend. Peace.